The thing's red too. Six is times. it happening? Oh, it's happening. This is my first Facebook Live. Is, this, is it really? Yeah, I've well, never Facebook Live. I, I don't. Uh, I just don't usually do that kind of thing. I occasionally Instagram live for the show, like I'd you know, have no backstage and pre-show. I occasionally, I have, I have pointed my phone at you during. That's without so my without my consent. Without your consent, I have broadcast you to all 140 something of I saw you followers. You've heard it here. If I can calibrate everything for one moment, hi, it's Carcon Carne. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Western Avenue, just south of Lawrence, in front of Garcia's restaurant. I have Kim, Jen, and Max in the car from I Saw You. We'll explain what I Saw You is, but first I should mention this car is huge, right? That's pretty rare. It's so nice, and I did not expect massage seats. Like, okay. I didn't expect it to massage that's, my that's, back and legs. That's not a feature, but it oh. is a lovely Mazda CX-9 from the Auto Barn Mazda of Evanston. Really, not that far from here. If you just take Western North, head on over to uh, 1015 Chicago Avenue, that's where this car is from. It's super comfortable. Look at the technology on this thing. It's gorgeous. There's a damn TV on the dashboard. The pop-up screen. That is The pop-up screen really is nice. totally badass. Uh, plenty of room back there. Oh, yeah. For sure. Jen and Max. I mean, oh, yeah. Spread it's out. Make yourself comfortable. Spacious. We're going to be here for a while. Yeah. It's like luxury. Mm-hmm. It's it, cradling my butt. Thank you. It's yeah. like luxury. Absolutely right. Thanks for d- putting us in luxury. Yeah. You're worth it. We're usually in oh. a dive bar. <laughs> you are, yeah. And we'll get to that. You are usually in a dive bar. Uh, I saw you. We'll get to that. Mazda, Autobahn Mazda of Evanston, 1015 Chicago Avenue. Are you ready? I saw you team to eat tacos in a car. Yes. yes. Yeah. It's car con carne. So, as previously mentioned, the three of you are part of I Saw You. I know what the elevator pitch is of I Saw You. Why don't you tell me what it is? Uh, well, I would say I Saw You is a show that's been running in one form or another uh, since 2006. It's the creation of a couple of guys since named... Since before the recession. That's yeah. how long this has been running. Since before the recession. When W was president and that's people right. used to... Um, well, we the material, the show, is made up of real personal ads from the greater Chicagoland area and uh, these pieces kind of fall into these ads fall into three categories one is like a misconnection so kind of a stranger on the train or a moment that didn't quite happen hence the uh, I saw you hence the I saw you mm-hmm. that's uh, that's the name of the show um, and then there's a uh, like someone seeking someone else and people kind of put themselves out there and say what who they are and what they're looking for and what they're interested in in a romantic partner and the third section uh, is what's X matches and the X stands for many X's in a row and that's where um as jen always says it so it well in her, in her intros people post their filthy, filthy wishes, wishes. <laughs> people post their filthy wishes uh and and they get yeah the x matches people kind of get right to it yeah. uh skip all the foreplay of like you know hey what is your name and and go right for it so we per, we perform these so, so for instance actors. like if i said bear looking for rough trade Ooh, yeah. that's yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a good headline. That would yeah. encourage us to read yeah. yeah. It's all about the clicks, bro. That's oh, going yeah. to the show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's and and people write people will write more interesting titles. Like we're you know, when we're hunting through and, and looking for these and when Mark used to, to look for them, that gets your attention. And it, will that get somebody's attention in the, when we perform? So it? before we proceed, before you read some of these personals, uh, the where and when? Uh, this is you? first and third Wednesdays at Town Hall Pub, 3340 North Halstead. It's at 8 p.m. It costs $5 cash at the door. First it, and third Wednesdays. Really, Max, it's a value at any price. Okay. I think so. We, we haven't, <laughs> you mentioned before the recession, we haven't changed our prices since 2000. Because we care about our That's people. Right. Exactly. It was 5 bucks then, and it's 5 bucks now. So yeah. here's the question. Do we start eating tacos now? Do you want to do some of this in the car before you eat? Can you... Can you perform on this an This car is, is so nice. I don't want to spit tacos all over it. Maybe it really we should. It's all up to you, baby. Yeah, you're running <laughs> this, this yeah, ship. Yeah, what, what you need, James? Uh, give us a little amuse bouche, maybe, before oh, we. Oh, yeah. all right. I like it. All right. Yeah. And actually, I'm dying to ask this question. <laughs> you're reading personals. I would think that the material might run dry at some point because hasn't everyone kind of moved off the idea of posting personals? No, people actually still do that. It's it's crazy. I think that a lot of it is people that maybe aren't able to talk to people when they see them right off the bat. So if they have this encounter, it's, you know, this 
I should have said that thing to you and I regret not saying that thing to you and so now is going to be my my last ditch effort to to do that <laughs> Hail and Mary. yeah yeah and I think it's really it's funny I always find it funny that in a large city like Chicago where you can find anyone you know presumably uh, that is into the same stuff that you're into a lot of times people are just not super comfortable with you know talking to people so right. they're able to sort of list their needs out without any judgment in hopes that somebody is into the same thing that they're into so yeah it's, it's surprisingly it's also still a thing. specific <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. so for example let's say you know you wanted somebody to piss on you you don't sit down for example for, for example, example you don't walk up to a bar sit down and the first person who buys you a drink, oh, so you like to, you like to, you like to piss on people? <laughs> yeah. This is like, it's an advertisement for yeah. people's fantasies. Sure. And their deepest, darkest fears. There, there are people on here who are, who are married and are, are looking to cheat. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's just, it's, it's in, intense and it's all real. Like we can't, like we say it all the time in the show, we can't make this up. I feel like just by what you described with the being pissed, being pissed on, we're going to cross some new barriers tonight. We're going to, yeah. we're going to, we're going to oh, break yeah. some new Drop ground in. for Carco and Carne. For you, yes. Um, <laughs> you will cross new barriers. This is just another Wednesday for us. <laughs> so it, it's probably at this point I should mention Carco and Carne is not suitable for all listeners and viewers. If extreme content offends or bothers you, please consider trying something else right now. Like perhaps the Goldbergs. That's good. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's good. That's that was it's good. not bad writing. Yeah. Okay, they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> good. All right, so... Uh, Give us something. Give us uh, and, and set it up. So this is, I saw you. Uh, if we went to go see you, this might be something. You're not making any of this up. This is all like verbatim text read aloud. Oh, you can't make this stuff up, James. No. Nope. And we wouldn't. And we you wouldn't. Why wouldn't. would you? I saw you looking at powdered sugar at Whole Foods. Who does that? So today, September 21st, at around 7 p.m. at the Whole Foods located on Halstead, you were really studying the powdered sugar like it had the answer to who shot JFK. Powdered sugar is just sugar ground really fine with cornstarch. It's like a dollar a bag at any other grocery store. It really made me the opposite of wet. (laughs) You were totally fuckable. Please don't tell me that you honestly need five minutes to study which bag of powdered sugar to purchase for God knows what you're going to do with it. Does buying cheese take you like an hour? Would picking out an apple, would that probably kill you? Seriously, has anyone seen this guy? When? September 21st. Where? The Whole Foods on Halstead. I saw a man. I am a woman. Here's my question to you, Max. <laughs> it was misleading at first. You you read that voice in a very angry male voice. It it's, was a little I, deceptive there. That That is true. As soon as you said, it didn't make me wet, or the opposite of wet. It's I, like, oh, that's... That was like an M. Night Shyamalan twist. I, I didn't <laughs> it. just, just the sort of plot twist you like to throw. No, I, I try not to do like a girl voice for like every girl piece that you do and we also that's another thing we do is we fly all over the place with um with with genders or or anything that's anybody any piece can go to any person we can't just like oh the girls get all Fair the girls enough. and the guys get all the guys and you know this guy gets all the mean ones and this guy gets all the nice ones that we just anything for anybody is usually our like how we assign things at, at this point in the conversation i do want to say we should do this every week i'm already having fun <gasps> i'm glad to hear that i yeah. love that I'm just going to quit my job, and this is going to be my the thing that I do. The, 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 show, awesome. the show has regulars, and they've uh, and they've been a large part of our success with, with changing up the show and doing different stuff every time and having uh, additional wonderful performers besides, uh, besides the three of us. That helps. That helps get repeat viewership. That helps a lot. Yeah, so it's a rotating cast. So we, we, ha- we have 10 performers that will rotate pieces. So it's different cast and uh, different pieces. Every time you're seeing the show, it's going to be different. So And we pick new this. content every time the show I goes up. Mm-hmm. And we only, see the yeah. sh- we only see the pieces an hour before the show. So we get to Town Hall Pub, and the book, you know, is all the pieces are there for us we each get 20 minutes with the book and then we decide you know real quick how we're gonna do you know or we don't and it's just a surprise to <laughs> us <laughs> when we get up there um how we're going to do each piece but it's it's that's what keeps it fully fresh is that it's new to us too yeah before you do another piece has or have you in your 10 plus years of doing this run across someone who said oh my god you read my thing on stage yeah a couple times yeah 
that's happened. That happened to me. And that I, sounds really awkward. It's so funny because I actually, it happened to Clint. Yes. And uh, it was one, the one time it happened to Clint, there was a bar, it was a bartender. Right? It was the bartender. It's happened twice to Clint. Yes. Oh, right. It, it, ha- oh, shit. it was the bartender of the place we were doing the show. It was at the elbow room. Uh, when we were right, like, uh, right. at one point we were opening for bands. I'm not sure why. but um, <laughs> I but wish more comedy type stuff would open up for bands. It's Breaking up a little bit. Uh, I'm all for I, that. It was, we those opened were some up fun for shows. Big Frida, and that was not okay. We did share okay. a pill with Big Frida one time. That nice. was, but they back, did not appreciate our comedy at that moment. The, Interesting. The, ba- the bartender was, it was one, it was, it was um, one that Anne does, uh, an old classic where she goes, the, the, the pirate, pirate wants <laughs> you to surrender your booty. <laughs> and and, it's, and it's, it, was a, it was just a charming, well-written uh you know, piece that the guy wasn't, it wasn't too like gross or anything, but it was just, you and know, a guy wants me. a girlfriend. It was, it wasn't anything mean or scary. And yeah, when did it happen it to happened you? To, it happened to me a couple years ago and I have been doing this show for such a long time that everyone always asked me that question. I was always like, no, ah, oh, because <laughs> I really wanted it to happen. And, uh, <laughs> and, this, and I did this one piece and, and thankfully I didn't make it like silly. I wasn't, I mean, we try really hard. I mean, and I think that the integrity of the show is that we really don't talk down to these people we're not it's not like step right up and look at the freaks and we're not commenting or mocking them in any way um but thankfully i mean but sometimes we do you know silly voices or Mm -hmm. whatever in in you know um what our interpretation of the ad is and so thankfully this time i did not do like anything silly because it was just a really well written smart piece um and she uh came up to me afterwards and was like hey that was really good can i buy you a beer and i was like absolutely (laughs) and then like within 10 minutes into the conversation she was like so um you did my piece (laughs) i was like what (laughs) and then we ended up just talking the rest of the night and having a great time so yeah i I, I was really glad that and it was a it was a misconnection so she was looking for she she had met someone who you know struck her fancy and wanted to see if maybe she could needle in a haystack find that person again and uh yeah so i i was very happy that it happened <laughs> okay how about another reading really cool Do you want me to go okay. baby okay <clears throat> looking for lauren Yu, american airlines flight attendant looking for lauren Yu, flight attendant american airlines Looking for Lauren Yu, first class flight attendant for American Airlines on flight 1551 from Boston Logan to Chicago O'Hare at 12.05 p.m. March 15th, 2018. If you are Lauren Yu or know someone who knows her, I would like her to contact me if she should want. I had the good fortune to meet Lauren Yu on an above-referenced flight in first class. I was seated in 5F and also spoke with her in the galley while I stretched for a moment. I was completely taken with her and she, rather than my seat on the plane, defined first class. She was reserved yet quick and charming great people skills engaging (laughs) to speak with and as graceful as anyone i have ever known (laughs) there is an excellent chance that i noticed her far more than she noticed me (laughs) and i can handle that reality (laughs) i would be a fool not to try and contact her in the event that is not the case she may live anywhere but (laughs) mentioned she lived in jacksonville florida or somewhere in florida (laughs) and has worked as a topless bouncer (laughs) she may live in boston or chicago but i suppose could live anywhere (laughs) key words boston logan airport Chicago O'Hare, Jacksonville, first class, (laughs) American Airlines, (laughs) topless bouncer, flight 1551, seat 5F, (laughs) steward is it, flight attendant, Dubuque, Iowa, (laughs) graceful, gracious, charming, reserved, buttoned down, (laughs) wild side, 
witty, humor, professional, <laughs> thoughtful, oh beautiful, goodness. captivating, energy, vivacious. Oh I could go on. <laughs> Where? American Airlines Flight 1551. I saw Lauren Yu. <laughs> I want you to make me a deal. Uh, from now on, I want you to pronounce every word that has a W in it with the same amount of, of, of gusto. The where. This is my favorite thing. I enjoyed that. Yeah. <laughs> also, you. you just underscored something that is a reality with some of these personal ads. They can be kind of creepy because flight attendants don't really seek that kind of attention. No. They do not. <coughs> no. So that's kind of awful and uncomfortable. They're just doing their gigs and they're trapped in that canister floating through the sky right they're being nice because it's their job right yeah which is why i love when he says i'm you know it's possible <laughs> yeah. that i noticed her more than she noticed me and then i can handle that that's my favorite part of it and that's kind of what sums up the whole show in a way like that hey, always gets a huge laugh yeah <laughs> like this is this is the, like i said before it's a needle in a haystack i mean i love the idea of like this unrequited love there's so many of these are unrequited yeah. loves that they just i felt com i couldn't say it in the moment but i so felt compelled to you know try to find this person again in case there is something you know yes. i love that idea <laughs> All right, Kim, how do you feel about busting one open? Yeah. Before we share yeah. chorizo and al pastor and chicken tacos or pollo tacos, if you prefer. To the guy who yelled at me for biking on North Avenue on Friday night. Number one, you are a fucking asshole. <laughs> if it makes you so angry that you have to stop and yell at me because I was biking five blocks without a front light, which was just stolen while my bike was parked, you have some serious problems. Number two, nice transformer sticker on your shitty black Mustang. Number three, nice dumb tattoos on your shitty arm sleeve. Number four, you are a gigantic meathead dumbass. When June 17th, where North Avenue, I am a man. I saw a big stupid dumb man. I don't want you to read anything polite for the rest of the night. I, I really... Oh, I have a nice one, though. Mm, I, you're nope. so good I'm, at that. I'm done, though. But you came out of the That's gate it. with that guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we had a chance to plan this out. You buried the lead. Yeah. No, the lead's right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so cyclists will vet their aggression. We've we've run into that theme uh, a, a few times. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to be strategic here. I'm going to stop the Facebook Live after we show the tacos. I'm going to continue recording. So to hear more... I encourage you to listen to the fully produced podcast episode on carclincarney.com, also on iTunes, Google, Stitcher, etc., uh, iHeart, all those all those places you hear podcasts. Carclin Carney is presented by the Autobahn Mazda of Evanston. Let's show off some tacos before we uh, wave goodbye to the kids at home. The tacos. I don't even know why I'm showing. I, I paid for these. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I, I mean like that. Like, here you go, Garcias. Here's your plug. <laughs> we work for tacos. It was full of happy people when we when we walked through. Full there. of happy they people. They all look really happy. Here's a representative. Oh, there's the camera. Oh, this oh, is oh. Jen. You're right. This is going to be. <gasps> hey, that's I'm going to ruin this car with tacos. That's a juicy taco. That like you can't even touch this without making a mess. You yeah. can't. It has a protective this. force field of grease. You did this, James. I'm making I a mess this. already just by looking at it, I feel like. We you got 2,000 napkins, right? We, <laughs> no. We may, <laughs> we may finish uh, recording and we may eat this outside of the car because I'm scared of ruining this lovely Mazda CX-9 from the Autobahn Mazda of Evanston 1015 Chicago Avenue. Uh, thank you for watching on Facebook Live. I'm going to figure out how to stop this new technology, which is lovely. All right, how about another one? I recently finished my PhD in uh, quantitative ecology at Penn State and I moved to Chicago for the next job. Outside of research, I love music. Classically trained orchestral trombonist. Chess, yep, giant nerd. <laughs> Tango dancing, I somehow wound up learning in a coffee shop one night and decided to keep going back. And bicycling, as a computational scientist, I desperately need the excuse to spend some time outdoors. I've won a few chess tournaments. <laughs> I like to think I'm a good musician. I can make a respectable flan without burning down my kitchen. In fact, it has now been several years since the last cooking-related fire for which I was even partially responsible. At the moment, I am bearded. This sometimes changes based on weather and or whim. People notice my extremely deep bass voice. The highest pitch I can reach is around middle C. 
I particularly <laughs> enjoy romantic era composers such as Dvorak, Strauss, Wagner, Beethoven, etc. Older music than that, classical or Baroque, is okay sometimes, but not the sort of thing I actively seek out. I also listen to jazz, Maynard Ferguson, J.J. Johnson, Benny Goodman, etc., and a fair number of Broadway soundtracks. I've been listening to Hamilton non-stop for a while now. I tend to enjoy a range of more modern music when introduced to it and can tolerate nearly anything but rap. I got really into road biking when I lived in rural Pennsylvania, <laughs> spent a lot of time riding down country highways, and back in August 2016, a driver passing too close clipped my elbow. Anyways, I'm pretty sure he actually hit me full on, and I'm in a coma, hallucinating everything from late 2016 onward. That's a lot. <laughs> wow. That is a lot. That was an intense one. Now, there there were some things to recommend that. I mean, he, he owned his nerdiness. Yeah. I respect that. That's that's part of why I... Uh, I, I picked this one. I, I appreciate I like, where I you're... like this guy. Yeah. I haven't spent a lot of time with him, but... Yeah. You get these pieces, and... I think people own their pickiness, um, their particularities that they Because that they there's, need. A, there's a level of anonymity to it. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. a little more yeah. courageous. Yeah. You can write a list online uh, when in front of your computer of all the things you're looking for, you know, and and Getting they're pissed on. and they're <laughs> yes, I mean, and they're it's like I if, if this person doesn't like Celine Dion and <coughs> and want mayonnaise on their nipples, then I don't want this person. <laughs> and it's like, whoa, my God, like they're just they they are able to you know have these deal breakers, you know, and put them all in list form. When you're meeting someone in person, you can't do that. <laughs> you know? There's a guy that I have a piece. He has he has herpes. Oh yeah, that yeah. One. And he's trying to be yeah. cool about it, but he's like, you know, I just want to let you guys know, I got herpes. <laughs> <laughs> BT dubs. Just, I yeah, got right. this thing. <laughs> Let's just get this out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. But he's still looking. I mean, you know, he's still looking for love. He's got herpes, and he's, he's not a he's not a monster. It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Jen, so Jen, yeah, what do you have? Oh, <clears throat> you crazy as hell. Ripped pants, reeking of alcohol. I asked if you were okay. You were not okay. You were rolling in the street because your boyfriend took the car today and you needed to catch the bus, but your knees and hips just aren't what they used to be. Logical as this may be, I am still not sure why your pajama pants didn't have a crotch region. You have three children. One daughter is in med school. The other daughter left home because your ex-husband was abusive. But it's okay because now she's a pharmacy tech and really making something of herself. Your son is in the Navy. You very emphatically love them. Love them. Love them. <laughs> to the point, in fact, that you cannot speak of them without becoming hysterical. Drawn to your crazed eyes, I listened raptly to your slurred life story. And as we parted, you told me you loved me. <laughs> I think we could have something beautiful. <laughs> Where, Clark in the Bercy sidewalk, I saw a woman. I'm a woman. <laughs> it's a really one. busy, Unexpected busy intersection, ending. yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. So much going on there. <laughs> mm-hmm. I just love the fact that she's like into it. I just love the After fact. All that. <laughs> listening to these stories, I love the Chicago ness of this. Yeah, I love that. That's really besides this kind of almost voyeuristic appeal. I love that these are stories in Chicago, Clark and Diversity, the lakefront. Like yeah. I get it. I know who these people are. I know where they live. That's kind of cool. Yeah, definitely. We we would sometimes get the little like laugh or a little miniature cheer of recognition if somebody said like. Oh, I saw you at Trader Todd's at the karaoke night, and everybody yeah. was like, oh, yeah, that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Been there. We'll get those through, yeah, we'll get those from time to time, if the thing is famous enough. <laughs> All right, Kim, what do you have? Seeking Rob Stark lookalike from Game of Thrones. <laughs> I am an avid fan of George R. R. Martin's series Game of Thrones, both the books and the show. I have recently purchased a replica of the Iron Throne as seen in the television show and need a partner to play out an elaborate fantasy. <clears throat> 
in my fantasy. <laughs> I am Daenerys, store-born Targaryen, mother of dragons, and rightful heir to the Iron Throne and the Seven Kingdoms. After crossing the narrow sea and defeating the forces of Westeros, it is in, within my power and right to slay all those who betrayed my family and denied me my rightful place for so many years. The most vile enemies of House Targaryen, House Stark, and House Baratheon must pay the highest price. All of those who fought against the Mother of Dragons are slain. <laughs> All except one. <laughs> when I come to rob Stark, our eyes lock, and something moves inside of me. I realize I need to have him, want him, and can tell he is thinking the same. I order my guards to throw him in the dungeon, and later that night I have him brought to me in the throne room. <laughs> and there on the Iron Throne, I've so recently won. I make wild and passionate love with him repeatedly. <laughs> Please only respond to this post if you look like Rob Stark. <laughs> I, I would appreciate pictures, but please, no names. In order to stay as true to the fantasy as possible, I only want you to refer to yourself as Rob Stark. Oh my God. <laughs> you will need to provide your own clothing. Please keep in mind that you will have recently participated in a battle and been thrown in a dungeon, so you will not be wearing your nicest furs. I'm looking for a Stark in the streets, but a wildling in the sheets. <laughs> yes. Yes. So... That's one of those interesting moments where a personal ad goes into fan fiction. It it, it happens frequently. A lot of really? comic book, a lot of comic book nerds, a lot of uh, that. Sometimes people even do like they, but I mean, it's another detail that attracts yeah. the specific person that they're looking for. So yeah, you can't on the street say, "Hey, would you mind dressing like Black Canary for me?" <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> It could, but the yeah, odds are not good. Yeah, certainly another. I've got a lot of time for you, for you to yes. <laughs> Plus, it's also I think a little for this one in particular. When I first started, this is this was actually an older piece, and when I first started doing it, it was when the the first season okay hit the hit the airwaves. So. I swear to God, every time I did this piece, all the girls in the audience, all the women would just... <laughs> <laughs> like, they knew... They get it. They knew uh -huh. it was coming. Everybody had already kind of had this secret fantasy. They hadn't gone as far as purchasing a replica and asking somebody portray Rob Stark in a fantasy, but they've had the fantasy. Yeah, buying the throne. I mean, I guess the closest I came to that, I literally, <laughs> just this past week, had a toilet Amazon primed to my house. I need a new like toilet. A whole so, toilet? Like a whole toilet? Amazon do Prime that. will deliver anything. They're amazing. That's right? Amazing. So free shipping. I had, I had a toilet at my front door. So that's kind of like. What color was 200 it? 200 pounds. It's, yeah. it's your basic white ceramic. Oh, well, you didn't get something fancy? I, do I look like I'm made of money? I'm a white ceramic guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to know, though. Now, I, I don't mean to. I don't want to hold hold you back from dining. That's part of the the appeal, the hook. That that's your reward for doing this podcast. <laughs> but before we, we silence the podcast. There was the promise of filth at the beginning oh, of the episode. Yeah. Sure, 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 sure. We'll burn the filth now. You want All the right. filth now? Category three, the X. Okay. Do you have, you have it ready to go? Or? I got, yeah, uh, I, got, I got some filth yeah, ready to go. Titillate us, Max. <laughs> Actually, this isn't, isn't really that filthy. Uh, let's, uh... <laughs> Do you want me to dive into this one? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Get, hit him with both barrels, John. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what the kids are calling him these days? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wife needs... Juicy booty birthday present. I asked him what he wanted for his birthday, and he responded, A juicy booty. <laughs> so if you have a nice set of round cheeks and enjoy anal sex, please help me out. I have rented a room at the W <laughs> in the loop for this Thursday evening. All three of us would meet in the lobby for drinks, <laughs> and then the two of you would head upstairs. Help me make his birthday special. Oh he's a great sex partner. He's good looking, <laughs> and he's very fit. 
I can send more photos of him along with my outside email address to verify. Hurry! Have a good day. Oh, so good. <laughs> so good. So she would wait in the lobby. Yeah. Yeah. She's... It's, so it's just not her thing? It's not. It's not his thing. Or, yeah. <laughs> it's what he wants. It's what he wants. For his present. Maybe she shouldn't have asked him what he wanted for his birthday. Yeah, she's, she regrets <laughs> that. Yeah. 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 I got you a Home Depot gift card. I hope <laughs> right. That, hope that works. <laughs> yeah. Don't Get what ask. you want. Get a depot dog on your way out. Right. <laughs> All right. So, again, I saw you uh, every first and third Wednesday of the month. Correct? Yep. Correct. The location? Is uh, Town Hall Pub, 3340 North Halstead Street. And if we want to keep up with you on the World Wide Webs. On the World Wide Webs, uh, we're the BOTC on Facebook. We are I Saw You Chicago on Instagram. Please like us on Please the Facebook. Please like and Instagram and uh, Twitter, which we don't do a lot with, but that's BOTC. That's Bruce Dorn Theater Company, which we used to go by back when we were a theater company that did lots and lots and lots of things. But now we do this thing and we do it very well. Yeah, find one thing. <laughs> find your niche and just... Yeah. S- just crush it. Just yeah. roll with it. Yeah. We're uh, giving the people what they want. Yes. They, they, the people have spoken. The peop- yes. The people have been very <laughs> And this clear. is what they said. They yes. said this. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't have possibly had more fun tonight. Thank you for doing this. I have more Thank you so much. Thanks for having much. us. Wait, you, you have more filth? All right. Let, let's end on a, in an unclean note. Yes. Kim, what do you have? Filth for the road. <clears throat> First time man slut. <laughs> let's is, stop right there. We're done. Good night, everybody. <laughs> It is right now 1219 in Northwest Indiana, and I would like a man to treat my man like a lady. I will watch him <laughs> suck you, and if you will let me spit on your cock, maybe fuck his ass. He has been bad to me sexually for two weeks, and I need to set him right. I want to see your cum on him or in him. I am a BBW and can play with the two of you. That's a plus. I want to spit on your cock before he does anything. We are DDF, and you must be as well, please. We both just had test run and want to keep things the way they are. Your job is to bust the nut and go so he can lick my ass, suck my toes, and eat my ass and pussy after he services you. Before he does anything, I want to spit on your cock. We are discreet and expect the same. We are ages 40 to 44 and looking for about the same. Send pics of your cock so I can spit on it. You get what you asked for. I don't know what I like most about that. It may be... Not, not even the spit on the cock part. It may be <laughs> Come on. The, the voice you ascribe to a Northwest Indiana resident. I have no idea what they sound like, James. Okay. Well, <laughs> it, well, maybe it's a lucky guess. I don't know. Uh, and we we love you out in uh, where in Dyer, in uh, <laughs> in Hammond. We love you there. It's all That's done. That's Gary. In, uh, to me, that was Gary. Uh, Gary, all all said and good good fun. Uh, all right, with that cock spitting moment out of the way. <laughs> good Lord. Good luck. Now you're offended. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I just... Fuck you. Oh, Max. <laughs> that out of the way. Uh, probably a great time to mention the sponsor, the Autobahn Mazda of Evanston, 1015 Chicago <laughs> Avenue. They're all adults there. Uh, I saw you. Uh, what fun. We're going to go see you. Uh, we can't miss you. Twice a month, for God's sakes. Uh, thank you so much for doing this. Let's eat some tacos. Yay. Thank you.